Hello, I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is Pastor David again, and today I would love to talk about cross. You see the cross behind me, maybe you don't see it, it's maybe not in focus, but it's empty. And it's empty because Christ, as he died on the cross, he was resurrected, and he is with the God the Father in heaven. And in, uh, and in John chapter 20, verse 1 to, to, to 2, we have written the text. Early in the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb and saw that a stone had been removed from the entrance. So she came running to Simon Peter and the other disciple, that one Jesus loved, and said, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb. And I don't know, and we don't know where they have put him. You know, Jesus talks about his, his death. He talks about this crucifixion, that he need to die. He talks about this on three different occasions in the New Testament. He said straightforward, I need to die. I remember one time Peter even said, Jesus, come on side, I need to tell you, don't talk like this. And Jesus said, go away, Satan. But the real point here is that they didn't really understand this point, what Jesus is saying, that he need to die for our sin, that he is the lamb who dying for mine and for your sin. Christ died for your sin. So if you know, if you acknowledge that you are a sinner, there is hope for you. Christ died for your sin and he take the sin from you on the cross and bear it. And God resurrect him. And he is living with God. So God is the one who make the things right between us and him. And the things which make it right is Christ's crucifixion. And Christ is offering to you, as he offered to me, that he will love to come to your life. And he will love to take your sin away from you. But it's up to you if you open your heart and mind and let him go in. God bless you, keep you, and protect you. Amen.